I had a bit of a mystery today when I was trying to log into an Azure virtual machine using Azure Active Directory services. And I finally figured out what caused it, and I figured a lot of you were also going to want to know how to do this. So if I go into Azure Services, we have Virtual Machines and Azure Active Directory. Now you need to already have had Azure Active Directory configured in order to proceed with this video. So I'm just gonna assume that you've already got Azure Active Directory going. Let's go back into our virtual machine area. And what I need to do is to create a new virtual machine. So I'll click on add virtual machine. And there's a spot now to add so you can allow your Azure virtual machine to use your Azure Active Directory to log into it. Otherwise, you're just logging in using a local account, which may not be what you want. So you go through all the usual places. I'm just going to put in some fake information here on setting up one of these until you get to management. Now, when you get into management, this is what's different from normally creating a virtual machine. And that is you want to make sure that you click the box that says login with AAD, which is Azure Active Directory. And also check the box that says system assigned manage identity. It will usually auto check that box for you. If it doesn't just go ahead and do it. The rest of the configuration can be just as you normally would uh, do to create a virtual machine in Azure, but you need to make sure that those two things are checked. So once you create the virtual machine, then you need to add some permissions. So let's take a look at that. I'm gonna click inside my Windows 10 virtual machine that I already created, and I wanna click on Access Control IAM. And here's where you give permission to log in using Azure Active Directory into your virtual machine. So you go to Add Role Assignment on the right-hand side, and then you click on Select a Role. And we want to choose one of two different roles, Virtual Machine Administrator Login or Virtual Machine User Login. So User Login obviously doesn't have administrator rights, whereas the Administrator Login does. But for our first user, I definitely want to be an Administrator Login for Virtual Machine. Then you choose the name that you'd like to add in there. Just go ahead and leave the assign access to as it is because we want to choose a user. So if we scroll down and we find a user that we want, just go ahead and select that user and click Save. Now that user has been given the ability to log in to your Azure virtual machine, but there's still more. And here's where the mystery comes in. So I'm going to go back into the root of my Windows 10 virtual machine. And I'll click on the connect button and that allows me to download a file for RDP or remote desktop protocol. So I'm going to choose to download that. And once I download this file, we see download RDP file. It's going to allow me to connect to this public IP address, which is how I reach my remote desktop server. So I'll click download RDP file. And now I'm going to move it onto my desktop so I can edit it. So I'm going to click Show on Folder. And then I'm going to move it into my desktop. Now it's in my desktop. And now I'm going to edit it. So I'll go ahead and close that. Close that. All right. So before I edit this, let's just make sure that it works logging in with the local user that I created when I created the virtual machine. So I created a virtual machine user called Admin1. So let's go here, it's just plain old admin dash one and a password. And this was just created when I created the virtual machine, just like you would do when you create your virtual machine, you have to create a local user. And we see admin one works just fine. And take a look, we've logged in using the public IP address into this local user. So what Microsoft says at this point is you should be able to type this command called dsreg cmd space forward slash status and here's where the error comes in so we go to where it says sso state single sign on state azure ad port no this should say azure ad port yes and all the documentation says is that uh, you just have to upgrade to the latest version of windows and it'll switch to azure ad port uh, yes but it doesn't do that but it doesn't do that i went ahead and upgraded to the latest beta version of windows 10 which is RS5, and it did not work. So uh, how do we get this to work? Well, I found another way to make it work, and it shouldn't matter 
whether you're watching this video the day I created it or whether you're watching this video four or five years down the road, it should still work for you. Here's that file that I downloaded. So I downloaded that RDP file earlier. I'm going to right click on that file. I'm going to choose open with and I'm going to choose notepad. So this is all that shows up in notepad. And what I want to do is I want to add a couple of lines to it and I'll put these in the comment section so you can just copy and paste that information. So there we go. It's enable cred SSP support and authentication level. So go ahead and add these lines into your RDP file that you download from Microsoft. We'll save that. Now we also need to go in and add your Azure user into system remote settings and then click the allow remote connections to this computer uncheck allow connections only from computers running remote desktop with NLA then we'll click select users now I've gone ahead and added this command which is why you see this I wanted to show this to you but uh, you won't be able to do that except by command prompt so if I click add you see the only location option here is Win 10, which is the name of my uh, VM. The option for Azure Active Directory doesn't exist, even though it's Azure Domain Joined. How do I know it's Azure Domain Joined? Well, if I do that DS reg CMD command, it actually tells me it's Azure Domain Joined. There it is. Is device joined? Yes. And if I scroll up to the top, just after I type the command, Azure AD joined, yes. So that's not my problem. My problem is, is I need to be able to add my user into my remote desktop users group. But I can't do that, as you see, because it doesn't show my Azure Active Directory information. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add a command, since you can't seem to do it through the GUI, into your command prompt, but you have to run it as administrator. If you don't run it as administrator, you will get a permission denied. And I'll put the command in the comment section for you so you don't have to worry about writing this down. Just copy and paste. So here's the command, net local group remote desktop users. So this is basically just allowing me to add this user into the remote desktop users group, which is going to be required. And then forward slash add Azure AD. Now, it doesn't matter what the name of your Azure Active Directory is. You're going to want to put in Azure AD. In my case, my Azure AD domain name is Tech Publishing. That's irrelevant. It doesn't matter. Just put in Azure AD. Then you put in backslash and then the full email address, uh, which is whatever user you added into the IAM earlier in this video. Now I added admin one because I'd already added my uh, Robert at ClickX3 one, but you're gonna wanna add whatever you added into the IAM, uh, just as I showed you how to do it there, and you'll add that same user account here and hit error. Now I've already added this user in as you see, so mine's gonna show an error, but yours is gonna show that it's uh, created it successfully. So if you go back into uh, the remote settings and you see your user under select users, then you know you did this successfully. All right, so that part's all done. We are finally ready to log into our virtual machine as our Azure AD user. So using my edited RDP file with the cred SSP information in it, I double click, I click connect. Now I'm going to replace the username, the local user with Azure AD and capital letters don't matter here. And then my Robert at, now if, you, if your main domain on your email address is not the onmicrosoft.com, that's fine. Mine is, is just that because I did not add another domain. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put in the password and sign in. And look at that, it works. I've not been able to find this in any Microsoft documentation. And hopefully this will help a lot of you out there who are trying to log into an Azure virtual machine using Azure AD credentials. And just to confirm, I'll do another command prompt and I'll type, who am I? And look at that, I'm in Azure AD as my account.